Well, it's Monday, so we're back to getting healthy with Dr. G. Uh, today we're going to be making something that a lot of uh, patients seem to really want, and that's an alternative to water. Uh, as you know, most, uh, most of us should be drinking about half our body weight in ounces of water a day, minimum. So if you do more exercise this summer when it gets a little bit hotter, you're going to want to use more. Uh, but you know, back, uh, most people think about eight, eight glasses of water a day, and that seems like a lot for a lot of people. But the more sodas and caffeine and teas and coffees we drink, we actually need more water to replace that. So a cup of coffee might uh, deplete about a quart of water. So, that being said, everything in our body runs off water, and patients have to drink more water, people need to drink more. Um, but water gets kind of boring. So, we have these wonderful things, and on Pinterest.com, they have some great uh, uh, explanations of these, and, and you can look at them, and, and uh, they're very exciting and colorful. Uh, but they're fruit-infused water with herbs. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about this and explain how we do this. Uh, I have several different examples up here, and even some that you can take to work with you in a nice Voss water bottle or even a smaller one. And these are really simple. The kids can help. Um, and there's no, you know, rhyme or reason to why you have to use certain things. It's you just try it and taste it. Uh, there's some helpful guides on Pinterest that I use uh, to kind of match this herb with this fruit. But otherwise, you know, it, you just get explore and have fun. And this summer, these are beautiful things to put out, and they last about three or four days, and it really infuses the water with the flavors. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is pick your fruit, and you're going to want to use uh, reverse osmosis water, filtered water, because of all the pollutants that are in the water. Um, so that way you're drinking something and not uh, toxifying yourself. So you're going to fill it up with water, and then you're going to put your fruit in there. Just slice it up, try to keep it clean, and then when you put it in there, use a wooden uh, spatula or a wooden spoon, and you're just going to muddle it a little bit. So you're going to take that and you're, you're going to push that spoon down on the fruit just a little bit, just enough to release some of the fruit and the juices from the actual um, fruit. So that'll make the water a little bit more flavored. Something you can, else you can do is you can put a little bit of real juice in there. And I did that with this one here, and you can see this has some actual pineapple juice in there. Uh, it made it a little bit more cloudy, uh, so not as great for presentation necessarily, but it will make it taste a lot better. And you're getting all the nutrition from the actual juice. Don't do the corn syrup uh, mix it, you know, for canned fruit. That, that's terrible for you. So then you're going to put your uh, herbs in there, and you can use, uh, the, the best things are, are mint, and you can grow that cheaply outside, which is nice. I also like a lot of cilantro, and so you can see this one over here, this cucumber strawberry blend, has blackberries on the bottom. I love putting uh, a little bit of cilantro, and even parsley is really good. Parsley is a natural uh, detoxifier, it helps uh, cleanse your liver, same, same thing with cilantro. So these are not only going to taste great, but they're going to help detoxify your body. Uh, with especially if people take medications all the time, uh, that's going to be very important for them to have on a regular basis. This one here is just a simple lime with uh, parsley in there. And so you can see this, and it makes a, a great little uh, talking point at work. So if you put this on your desk, people are certainly going to ask, and you can tell them about how healthy you're going to get. The other thing is when you put these herbs in there, so the mint, sometimes uh, people use sage. Uh, we actually use sage in this uh, pineapple juice with strawberries. And that sage is really good. You wouldn't think so necessarily, but it's a wonderful pairing. And, um, and then also rosemary. We didn't do any this time, uh, but rosemary is a great one for, for adding flavor. And you, with the mints, you can even do like a chocolate mint. You can do a lemon mint. Wonderful, wonderful flavors. When you put those mints in there, you're going to take that wooden spoon and you're going to muddle that too. So you want to just tap down on that mint and release the oils out of it and that'll really infuse the water with a lot more flavor. And all these are medicinal. So when you get done with this, you take all those, put it in a little blender, mix it with some orange juice, and you have a wonderful shake too. So that way nothing goes to waste because it looks pretty, tastes really good, but you don't want to waste all that wonderful fruit and vegetables. One of the keys is also using uh, uh, fruit that's actually organic. 
And so you can see that many of these actually have the rinds on them. And I like that because it, it looks better. But also, you want to make sure that it doesn't have the toxicity involved with all the pesticides and herbicides. So something like an apple, they spray with 200 chemical pesticides. Uh, the USDA says uh, in last year's report of the, the Dirty Dozen that apples rated the highest with uh, those toxicities being about 50 to 64 chemicals found in the supermarket still on your apple. So it's important that if you get organic, you don't have to worry so much about washing it off and, uh, and uh, you know, contaminating your family. But if you can't get the organic or if it costs too much, then one of the most important things you can do is to take it and, and soak it in vinegar water. So it's a couple capfuls of vinegar in, in a bowl of water. And just let that soak and then just wash off the fruits and vegetables, then slice it. That should get the most toxicity out. Now when it comes to like blueberries and raspberries and even the blackberries that are in here, you're probably going to want to spend the money on organic because that way you actually uh, don't have to worry about the pesticides and herbicides being inside. So the water you want purified, reverse osmosis. The fruit you want organic when possible. And then the other thing is you want to make sure that you put these in glass. So these are just canning jars from Walmart. And in fact, this is just a, a nice jar from uh, Walmart that I picked up last night. And wonderful to, for display. We're going to put one of these in my office. Um, otherwise, um, you know, they're great for the countertops. And when you're having a backyard picnic, great for the family, great talking point too. Um, it's good to be healthy and get enough water. Uh, this, if you don't know, is a Voss water bottle. And you can buy these uh, uh, World Market here in uh, Wichita. And those are wonderful for toting around, uh, and they're made of glass, so you don't have to worry about all the toxicities of plastic in there, too. So you're getting nutrition, you're getting healthy, and you're not getting the toxicities. A lot of the plastics are going to have what's called xenoestrogens in them, and they're going to mimic the estrogens in our body. And one of the things about estrogen and fake estrogen is it does, we, the human body doesn't have any way to prevent that from going straight into our cell and affecting our DNA. So it's very important, again, that we use glass and, 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 and cook in stainless steel and all that. Um, you could actually salt taste some of these uh, fruits with a little sprinkle of organic sugar, a little bit of water in a pan, iron skillet, and just saute that a little bit and that'll help release all the the wonderful flavors and bring out those. Now it'll make them look a little bit cloudier, but again, you're going to have wonderful flavors and you're going to impress all your friends and family. And of course, getting the kids to drink more water, this is an excellent way. My daughter is very excited about trying these out and surprisingly, she thought they were wonderful. So for this uh, summer and for Earth Day, this will be good for you. See you back. Welcome back. Uh, joining uh, joining Patrick now is, uh, I'll let you do the introductions. Oh, we have Gretchen and we have Ellen, but she's out of the shot. She's going to have to scoot over a little bit. <laughs> there she is. So uh, this is my oldest daughter and this is her friend. They're off at school today, so they wanted to stop by the studio and, and try some of the fruit and herb infused water. And be part of the live studio audience. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, this is really good. It's... Uh, you know, you just get a hint of the fruit. It's not, it doesn't overpower it. You can tell you're drinking water, but it's, it's more like a flavored water. It's, it's really pretty good. It's That's pretty right. Refreshing. And many of the waters today that are out there, like the vitamin water, the fruit waters, uh, they usually have like aspartame in there or other chemicals that are, you know, you're drinking the water because you think you're being healthy, but then you're consuming horrible chemicals in the process. Yeah. So with this, you're getting that fruit infusion and no toxicity, which is wonderful. Um, when it comes to, like when you said matching the fruits and the herbs, um, is there anything that you shouldn't do, or is it just kind of a matter of just suiting your own taste? Well, and that's what it's going to be is, you know, I was kind of worried about what to pair together, and when I looked and, and, and kind of went out of my comfort zone, uh, there was just all kinds of interesting blends that people do and really no matter where you looked it came down to does it taste good to you yeah. and you know the one that I was worried about was the sage 
uh, you know, I use sage for cooking uh, uh, fish but in, in pork, but I haven't ever drank sage, so, <laughs> you know, even in my office I have all these herbs, and I pick the herbs and I'll put them in the tea, um, but I've never tried sage with actual fruit water, so uh -huh. but it's surprisingly good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and I think that's, you kind of feel like a little uh, mad scientist. That's right. Sometimes when you try these things, because you don't know sometimes what you're going to come up with. And my daughter lives on Pinterest. She, oh, yeah. She uses that all the time, but I don't know that she's tried this type of thing with it, but she really likes that. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of good information you can get on Pinterest. Oh, yeah. Pinterest should just be called whoop what's cool.com or something. Yeah, really yeah when we, my, I had a patient tell me about their, their experiments with fruit infused water and got me all excited and so I looked them up and I just couldn't believe how awesome these things looked and the common complaint all the time with patients is, uh, you know, I can't drink that much water. I just, yeah. it's just too boring, it's too plain and they always want to add sugar or they want to add something else to it and it's like, no, 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 you know, let's do it to where it's healthy, it's flavorful and you know you're not uh, putting toxic chemicals in it too. Well, right, because what's the point of drinking more water if you're just going to put sugar in it? That's right. That's right. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> well, and it's surprising that so many of those waters that, that are out there, and of course they're in plastic, uh, they're just horrible, horrible things in there. And uh, most people are drinking them, thinking they're doing a good job, and that yeah. they're they're trying to be healthy, but. Uh, especially when you leave them out in the sun, all that estrogen gets absorbed through the plastic. Uh -huh. And so, you know, these, uh, you could always tell my patients around Newton because they're always walking around with mason jars drinking. <laughs> and so I have patients sometimes that say, who's your doctor, <laughs> you know? Because otherwise we never see that. Never well, see and you know, the, the tall ones that you have there, the tall skinny yes. models, um, I could see putting that on your desk and somebody would ask if you were drinking that or growing that's right. <laughs> it looks like a terrarium. Yeah, and I said last week when we did the medicinal uh, herbs that, you know, I have all these little herb plants in the uh, office and I'll take my big glass mug uh, and I'll put just little bits of herbs and there, a little lavender in there if I want to calm down and, and some rosemary in there for the antioxidants. And then I have my tea and so it looks like I'm drinking plants half the time, <laughs> but patients will... Well, you kind of are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Patients will give you that weird look and say, what in the world are you doing? you are like, hey, I'm getting healthy, okay? There you go. You. Well, you know, marketing is such a big thing because a lot of times things are marketed as being healthy. That's right. And they're not, you know, and so you kind of have to know what you're looking for. Yeah, and, and sometimes in the office I, I kind of feel like I'm a purple cow because so many of the things that I talk to uh, with patients in, in these kind of things aren't, aren't kind of in there uh, is stuff that nobody else is really doing and you know really kind of unique things and um, and they're very surprised that not everybody's doing this but once they start doing it then they start seeing other people that are doing it and next thing you know you, you have this uh, chain of effect on people which is good well you know when you go shopping and you look at and start reading labels if you really don't know what you're reading on the labels it really doesn't do you that much good that's right. You know, so you, you need to know kind of the things to avoid uh, or what's, you know, some some of the terminology is, I think, sometimes almost meant to disguise what it really is. You know, if you, if you don't recognize the word, that's then right. you think it, it's probably okay. Yeah, and you wouldn't believe how many different uh, terms there are for just sugar. Yeah. And on the label, they will say no sugar, but then they have 12 ingredients that become sugar. But the names are so confusing that most people don't know. We'll be back with uh, 43 reports, so stay with us.